Hello, today I'm in Coldrops Yard, which is quite near King's Cross Station in London. And I've been here for three days now. The first day I came was on Saturday and I came with Lee from YouTube channel Lee Loves Shoes and we've been working on a collaboration. So basically there's such good photo opportunities here it turned into a bit of a photo shoot on Saturday and I'll spread those photos through the video. And then I came back on Tuesday to do some more filming, get some more shots of the wider area. I got some of those, but it was not a good day and it ended up pouring rain, so I had to finish there. I'm back here today, it's now Wednesday. The sun is shining, it's a little bit windy, but overall it's a very nice day, so I'm finishing off today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk from King's Cross Station across to St Pancras and into the St Pancras Hotel, through the Eurotunnel Terminal, down the street, past the Google offices and the nice square there, and then on down into Coldrops Yard, where I am now. The station's crowded and busy even at quieter times, so it's not clear if we'll be able to use any of the surrounds as a backdrop. Added to that, I have a couple of curious but friendly people wanting to find out what's going on, so it's not the best location for concentrating. There are some nice grey granite style benches though, which provide different heights, so we try out some test footage just to get in the swing of things. This immediate area would have been called CD a few years ago, but recently it's undergone a huge amount of improvements. The Great Northern Hotel is a beautiful building in great condition and I love the name of this restaurant, Plum and Spilt Milk. This is the first backdrop for a product shot of black suede shoes featured in Lee's recent video. As we look at the area around the station, there are a lot of different ages and styles of buildings all mixed up together from the old St Pancras station with its red brick arches to the new station in metal and glass. One poor tulip is struggling to get through and get spring started. Moving on, we're heading across to the St Pancras Hotel under the very noticeable clock tower. We're in luck here because there's a beautiful yellow car parked in front of the hotel which makes a brilliant backdrop. Next up, even better, a purple car in a great position for getting the hotel in behind. It takes a bit of patience waiting for people to move out of shot but I'm so glad I did that. Have you heard about the amazing staircase inside the St Pancras Hotel? Although I've seen lots of photos, this is the first time I've ever been inside. It absolutely beats all my expectations. It's like an amazing film set for a grown-up Harry Potter film. Even the ceiling merits a wow. Right behind the hotel is the Eurostar terminal and it would be super luxurious to stay in the hotel and then catch the Eurostar to Paris from here the next day. We only had a coffee in the hotel but I can bet their breakfast would be wonderful. This is the booking office restaurant. I once had a bank holiday family meal here and it was really memorable. 
On the lower floor, there's a shopping centre with everything you could possibly need before you travel. Two statues caught my eye and the first is the poet John Betjeman. The second is called The Lovers by most people, although its proper name is The Meeting Place. Around the foot of it are some tiny sculptures you could easily miss, but when you look closely they're really amazing and varied. Moving on, we're heading along the newly created street, Kings Boulevard. To the left, you can take a small detour into the very peaceful square where the fairly new Google offices are based. This would have been a great location for photos with Lee, but on the day we were together, we kept moving past this in the interest of time because we wanted to reach Cold Drops Yard. You can see here the huge amount of new housing being built in this area. They'll be nice and handy for walks along the canal, which we're coming up to shortly. We're now crossing a bridge over the canal, which is home to lots of houseboats. We've now arrived in Granary Square and Cold Drops Yard is at the far end. Again, this is the first time I've ever been here. I don't know what to expect, but I've heard people say it's great for Instagram photos, so I'm guessing there'll be lots of good locations. This old warehouse building is now home to the famous Central St Martins Art College, which ranks second in the world for art and design. The top spot is also in London, and that's the Royal College of Art. Looking around the square we notice the granite benches, the perfect catwalk for red leather and fur-lined mules with casual denim. Our next stop is the Granary Square Brasserie and it's not too busy so I'm going to use the flower arch, the seating area and the nice reflective glass circle as a foreground. It's back to looking around the square again and time to pick a new location. There's a beautiful black arch with lights and it's really perfect because it has an arch behind it to let some arch-shaped daylight through, so there's a few repeating elements here. It's been such a nice day working with Lee today and I'm going to put the details of her channel down below. My first favourite is the blue taxi in front of the Great Northern Hotel Bar because of the colours. The shade of blue is spot on and I like the warm colours of the bar in behind. Lee leaning over as if to open the door of the purple car. I like this because to me it sums up luxury travel. How exciting it would be to drive up in a smart little car like this and stay in this luxury hotel. I had to have one of the grand staircase in my favourites and this one shows off both Lee and the staircase very nicely. There were a few in this series with the purple car that I liked, but this one came top because I managed to fit in all of the clock tower and all of Lee and I love the vertical lines. Next is another one from inside the St Pancras Hotel and this one features a Harry Potter style crest and balcony. Where's Romeo when you need him? This clock is another of my favourites because of the beautiful blue colour again. 
Next up is a portrait of Lee with the flowers of the Brasserie Arch in the background. And last up is one of the photos from the tiny sculptures around the lover's statue. And my top favourite this week is the photo of Lee in front of the purple car in the St Pancras Hotel. And this is the one I'll post on my Instagram account. Well, that was a really enjoyable day for myself and for Lee. I absolutely loved taking those photos. If you liked the video, please give it a like and hit the red subscribe button to be notified about my future videos. I hope you're all managing to stay safe. As you can see, when we filmed a video, there was talk of coronavirus, but nobody was being restricted at that time at all. Fast forward a couple of weeks and here we are, we're now having to stay indoors. So I hope you all stay safe. Take care. Bye.